This is my official NBA playoff bracket. We're going to pick the Suns in five. Suns in five. They might win in four. What do we think? Do we think the Pel... I mean, I think the Suns win the series pretty easily. I don't think that's a hot take. The only question is, do the Pelicans win a game? You think six games? I don't think so. I think it might be four. I'll give them five. I'll give them five. I don't think it goes to six. I think the Suns are significantly better. So what's the deal? Wait, hold up. Hold up. What's the deal with Luka? Is he coming back? So he might miss the first game and possibly more after that is what I just read. He's out game one. Yeah, that's tough. So I think the Jazz... So it's going to be in Dallas. I think the Jazz will probably win game one. Let's just say they win one of their first home games. But if Luka comes back, he still might not be full strength, right? So I think at best, you're looking at the Mavericks winning one of their first two home games. Then they travel to Utah. Luka still might be... I'm going to say Utah in six. And Luka's just so good. I, his injury just makes it so hard to like know what's going on. You know? You think this goes seven games? I could see that. I could see it going seven. I just think if... I think at best, Dallas starts one and one. I think Utah wins their home games at that point probably so then they're up 3-1 i mean shit. i think at best that's yeah i don't know i i think six i think six games i think six games man th these are some tough predictions right here there's some tough ones in here bro like golden state warriors denver i could see that going anyway bro he's expected to play game one so curry's coming back warriors have home court Let's just say they split the first games. I, what, oof. what do you think this? Do you think this goes seven games or do you think? I think the Warriors win. Oh, that's so tough, bro. It's so hard to pick against Denver, but I mean, just because Jokic is so good. But I mean, you look at the Warriors. If, if Curry's back, they got him. They got Clay, Got Draymond. Wiggins, of course. Kevon Looney. I'm going to say Warriors in seven. I don't know why, but I think this goes seven. Oh, it... Timberwolves, Grizzlies, bro. Can I tell you what I'm scared of happening here is I'm a big Timberwolves fan. Part of me wants to pick them to beat the Grizzlies in seven. And then if they're playing the Warriors, bro, the Timberwolves have had the Warriors number over the last few years. I'm going to be picking them to beat the Warriors. Okay. You know what? I'm doing it. Timberwolves in seven. Timberwolves in seven. Phoenix Suns in six. And then Phoenix Suns in six. I'm a homer, but I'm not that much of a homer. Okay? If the Timberwolves make it that far, that's a success, bro. I mean, I just want them to beat the Grizzlies, bro. <laughs> okay. Now, Miami Heat. I could see the Hawks winning a couple games. Miami in six. I think Heat win that, though. They're just too good. The T-Wolves are winning against the Grizz. They are winning. Exactly. They're going to destroy the Grizzlies, bro. No, you... No, so Hedge, I read your first sentence. You said... I mean, you said it yourself. GG's, Grizzlies. GG's. You hope the Hawks win? I mean, hey, that would be cool, but I don't think the first seed gets bounced. <laughs> you missed a word? Yeah, you missed a word because the truth was talking. The truth was talking, Soul Hedge. You, you wanted to type not, but then the universe just stopped you from doing it because it knows the truth. No. <laughs> So hedge. No, 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 no. Timberwolves are winning, bro. They're beating the Grizzlies in seven. <laughs> the Grizzlies are so good, though. Fuck. Even without John ja Morant, they had a good record. <laughs> Too late. Yep. Better put money down on the T-Wolves. They're going, they're going to the conference finals. That's the official prediction. You think six? Hey, well, you know what? If the Timberwolves... You know, they make the playoffs, they win a couple games against the number two seed. That is that is a great success for them with their young team. So, I mean, I would take that, but I'm hoping for more. I think it's a special team, even though they're definitely not favored to win. I'm I'm just going to pick them just because I love them. I, I would just hate it if they, if they beat the number two seed. That'll probably be the first playoff series they've won in like over 15 years. I'd feel so bad if I didn't pick them to win. I'd rather pick them to win and have them lose than pick them to lose and have them win. I think this game goes seven. This one goes seven, seven games. I think Sixers win in seven. I think the Bucks win this in 
five. And I think Celtics win in seven. I know the Nets have, you know, they got good players, but the Celtics just have been playing well. I don't know. You think the Nets? I Dude, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, they got the talent. They got the talent, bro. I just think that I just think the Celtics, they're a step above where they, you know, they've been good the last few years. I feel like they're just a step better than they usually are. Yeah, they're going to get that revenge against the Nets. You have Suns versus Heat in the finals and Suns winning in seven. I mean, I could definitely see that. Obviously, they're the they're the number one seed, so that wouldn't shock me. Bulls in five, no shot, buddy, no shot. Oh, this is tough. I mean, yeah, I, the Bucks are too good, bro. The Bulls fell off sadly. Plus ratio. <laughs> Eat our frauds. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick the Bucks. I'm not betting against Yanis. Okay, are we gonna really have Suns Bucks again though? I'm gonna say the Bucks win this in either six or seven. You're clamping Yanis. Uh, I don't think you can clamp Yanis, bro. I'm going to say this goes six or seven games, though, no matter who wins. Sleep on the Bulls, see what happens. Listen, man, they don't have Michael Jordan anymore. <laughs> so they just haven't hit the same since then. Oh, sh we got a SpongeBob. I'm picking the Bucks, bro. I'm picking Bucks in seven. Listen, Soul Hedge, I, I just can't. I just can't bet against Giannis. Would it, it would not surprise me at all if the Celtics won. But have you seen Giannis's muscle tone? The dude is yoked. See, White Mamba, the Grizzlies can't win it all because they're gonna get first rounded by the T Wolves. But that's a that's a different story. L Jordan plus a ratio. That's psychotic. That is psychotic. Yeah, that's literally what it sounded like. It sounded like he was running out of batteries. Trust me, I just stuck it in him recently, bro. Oh, uh, I mean. I could see the Celtics getting first round, but only because they're playing the Nets. Like, if they were playing the Bulls or the Hawks, I'd be like, no way. But have you seen Pat Beverly lately, bro? Dude's playing like prime Wilt Chamberlain. Like, literally 100 point game, Wilt Chamberlain. This is the most accurate playoff bracket to ever be created. So, yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Dinky, is if Harden falls apart. But unlike some of his other teams, he's got, you know, a player that's better than him. I'll say it. I said it, Joel Embiid. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get all the smoke, and he's gonna, uh, all the Canadian smoke, and he's just gonna dominate. I don't know. All right, hold on. I gotta make a prediction here, bro. He, I think the Heat beat the Sixers in six. Do I do Bucks or Heat, bro? But do we? Do I really think we're gonna have a repeat, bro? You think Heat over the Bucks, bro? I just think about Giannis's muscle tone, bro. Have you ever seen his muscles? Dude's a superhero. That's what I'm saying, Dinky. But Giannis, this is a tough one. There's so many tough matchups. I mean, the Heat would have home court. Oh my God, that's tough. Like I could see it going either way. Frick, dude. I mean, either way, do we really think both number one seeds are going to make it? And do we really think it's going to be a repeat? Either one, I'm like, really? It just seems too obvious. It seems too obvious that both one seeds would make it. It seems too obvious that, obvious that it would be a repeat. Twitchy thinks it's Bucks Suns. Oh my God, man. You think the Bucks are getting first rounded? I mean, so Dinky, what, how far do you think the Bulls make it? You think you think it's Bulls in the finals? Is that what you're trying to say? Because that's that's immaculate cap. I don't think the Bulls are gonna beat the Bucks. I'm sorry. I mean, look, the, both of these teams have a little basketball in their name too, man. See that? They both got a basketball on fire. That's so cute. I, I'm gonna go with the Heat. I'm gonna go with the Heat. At first, I thought Bucks, but I'm gonna go with the Heat. All right, this is my prediction. I know, real, real out there. Both number one seeds. White Mama, very good point. It doesn't matter. Cat could put up, uh, he could put up a Tony Snell zero, 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 and zero. And Pat oh, Bev is gonna Shrek. carry. Hey Shrek, what up, homie? Heat or Suns? Heat or Suns? They're both like sunny, hot-based basketballs. Both of these teams have been to the finals recently. So, they, you know, they both got players that have been through it and lost. They both got a, they both got that edge. They both got a chip on their shoulder, you know? I just I feel like the Heat, are, they're just so complete. They're such a complete team. You know what I mean? All right, there's the bracket. There it is. What will be the point margin? Like, what? how much will they win by? Seven. Is that what that means? The point margin? Brandon thinks Suns? Oh! 
Yeah, it's weird. LeBron's not even playing in the playoffs, bro. That's so weird. Hmm. All right, this is the official bracket brought to you by T-Ultra. Put your money on it. Oh, come on. LeBron's not washed. He's not washed. Le, le trash, le not better than Jordan. We're not doing this.